Today, we're going to be taking a look on how to match different shots and why it's so important. Matching shots is super important. When you're watching a movie, you don't want to be distracted by the next frame that happens. If your viewer consciously recognizes that, oh, that looks different than the last frame, that's a problem. When you're on a shoot, you can be using different cameras most of the time and matching colors, matching shots is very important for your viewers experience. What we're going to do is once we have our footage imported, we're going to go to the color tab up in the top right. If you do not see your clips, you can always click the clips and your individual cuts will show up. Let's go ahead and grade our hero. Your hero shot is the best looking shot that you have in your footage. So we have our hero right here. Let's just make this our hero shot. If you don't know how to apply a basic color space transform, there is going to be a link in the description on where you can watch one of my videos. Once you have your basic color space transform, let's go ahead and begin grading our hero shot. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to label node number one P adjust for primary adjustments. We're going to be touching the lift gamma gain and offset wheels to go ahead and put our image where we like it. Okay, once we have our primary wheel adjustments, we're gonna go ahead and touch our color temperature. All right, that's looking about right, and let's go ahead and add just a touch of saturation. Now we have our primary adjustments. Let's go ahead and Alt S. Let's add a very small S curve. We're going to come over to our curves. We're going to put a dot right there and we're going to put a dot right there. You're going to lift the top dot a very small amount and you're going to drag that bottom dot down a very small amount. Let's go ahead and Alt S once again. Let's go ahead and just push some color into this. So let's just label this color. Again, we're doing a very basic grade, nothing too extreme. Let's go ahead and open our parade just to see where we're at. Let's go ahead and mess with the offset colors to just push some colors into this. And we can also touch the gamma wheels as well. Okay, let's just say we're pretty happy with that grade. We're going to come over to our next clip. We're going to go ahead and select it and go ahead and hit press the middle mouse button on the clip, or you can right click and then click apply grade. As you can see, when we did that, it does not, it looks nothing like the first clip. That could be due to exposure, that could be due to a different type of camera. So one way we can match color is, let's go ahead and go back to our first clip. We're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna click grab still. Then we're going to go ahead and go back to our one we want to match that color to. We're going to go ahead and... Now in the top left right here, we're going to go ahead and click image wipe. And then you can see once we did that, now we can wipe between the two images. So let's go ahead and match these two. I'm going to start off by touching the P adjust. Better yet, you could even just reset the node in the P adjust, nothing else. And so in the primary adjustments, let's go ahead and mess with those. So here's a quick tip. When you're trying to match exposure, when you're in the primary adjustments, what you can do is come over to these three dots in the bottom right. You're not toggle display qualifier focus now what that's going to do is when you're matching shots you want to match the exposure as well so the shadows you want that same luma value and your highlights you want that same luma value but when you have that selected and you go ahead and click on your qualifier and you move your mouse around so you can see the luminance value on his arm right here in the bottom right when i'm hovering over it and then let's say I hover over the same arm in a different shot you can see that one is lower than the other. So let's go ahead with that in mind. We're gonna go ahead and let's maybe raise our highlights just a touch. Just a touch. 
and let's go ahead and check it again. So there's that luma value and let's look at it again. Now that's a lot closer. Maybe we overshot it this time. So how about that? Right there and right there. Those look pretty even to me. And you can also do the same with the shadow value. So that's a good tip. And we're pretty much in the same ballpark. You can see here's the top and there's the bottom. Pretty good. So with these tips in mind, you can pretty much match any camera, any color grade to each other. At the end of the day, all we're doing in color grading is once we have our log footage, the fundamentals in color grading, all we do is we shoot in log, we have a color space transform, we make our primary adjustments. You can either add an S curve or, you know, color. If you're just looking for a very clinical Rec 709 look, you can just do your primary adjustments, add some saturation and you're done. From different cameras, the primary adjustments can vary drastically or they can be pretty much the same. Maybe you overexpose one camera and you underexpose the other camera by accident. Whatever the reason is, you can match camera to camera and video clip to video clip. I hope you found everything very useful. Go ahead and please subscribe. It helps me a ton.